Welcome back, humble traders. Today, I'll be doing a technical breakdown on Futo Holdings, ticker symbol FUTU. If you're new to the channel, remember to take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more charting and price manipulations. Do note that I'm just humble charties and I do not provide any buy or sell calls. Instead, I focus on the potential traps laid out by the market makers. Always remember, the stock market is never obvious. It is designed to fool most of the people most of the time. Without further ado, let's take a look at Futo Holdings. So you can see that Futo Holdings actually had a long-term uh, consolidation. It traded sideways for a while. And then there was a, a flush down. And thereafter, we managed to have a very much like a V-shaped recovery. So currently, I'm looking at about a few resistance that are coming up for Futo. If you zoom in, you can see that um, the next resistance coming up is actually this at about uh, 44. And followed by uh, this resistance here around 47 uh, 46, 47. So um, if we are able to uh, clear this uh, resistance, um, to, to remember simply, you can just put it about, uh, say, 4404, easy to remember. Next one is around 4720, uh, 4730. So these two are the resistance that I will be watching for. Of course, uh, at resistance level, we need to be very careful of fake breakouts. Fake breakouts are usually uh, meant to be taken by breakout traders and then later they may collapse it. And so you have to watch these uh, candles that appear at these levels. For instance, they may have uh, this uh, very bearish hammer. Then that's an indication that um, uh, there was some resistance at those levels. Um, if we manage to clear these two resistance, which I don't think we, we, we can clear it so easily, then I'm looking at about uh, this level here. This is also a resistance. But this resistance is uh, still quite far away, slightly above 50. We need to clear the $50 psychological support. And that will take some time as there's two more um, resistance in the way. Uh, not forgetting, there's also uh, this gap here. So gaps are usually uh, created for a reason. So they may be uh, closed uh, someday um, in the near future. So if you look at the um, daily MACD, and daily MACD is looking good, you can see that the blue line already cut above this orange line and there may be more potential ahead. Let's take a look at the weekly MACD. So if you look at the weekly MACD, the weekly MACD shows a very bullish engulfing uh, candle for this week. So um, if you want to see a follow through, then we need to see more green candle, a uh, very long green candle, ideally by the end of this week. You can see that the MACD for the weekly chart also cut up as well, somewhere around here. And then there was this initial flush followed by um, the MACD still continuing doing to head upward. So it's a good sign, especially for the weekly uh, time frame. Because as you can see, the weekly time frame, um, we have not actually went above this orange line for a very long period of time. We cut down here, uh, somewhere around here. And then we did not cross over here, around here. So finally, we are able to cross up. So it's an indication that um, potentially we may see a um, trend reversal here. Um, not forgetting, let's take a look at the daily charts. Um, you can see that we have been rejected off this uh, cloud support. So on the way up, cloud has a, a resistance. On the way down, cloud has a support. So you look at the four hour chart here, you can see that there was some profit taking at these cloud levels and there's also resistance at this cloud level simply because uh, it was a Friday and you can see some uh, profit taking here at the uh, last few hours. Um, if you take a look at the RSI, which is uh, shows you how much risk there is involved with this uh, particular stock, we went from over um, sold and currently now we are somewhere in the middle. You can see that this is over sold territory, just below 30 RSI. And we need to be careful because now we are around trading about 56, even though it's not at overbought territories. Um, whenever we hit about this uh, 56 to 60 zone, there seems to be some uh, resistance here. So I do expect some uh, potentially some resistance here if we're not able to clear this 44 and 47 resistance. Um, 50, 51 resistance is still far away, so I'm not too concerned about it. So I'm just looking at this uh, 4404 and 4720 around there. So yeah, if there's any changes, I'll give you guys an update. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe as you keep the actual and channel intact. Leave in the comment section below your thoughts on this particular stock or if you have any other stock TA requests. Till we meet again, appreciate the manipulation.